Hi everybody, it's Janet here at Emerald Gypsy Arts and uh, I was thinking about doing a page in my old um, converted book. It's, it was basically an um, almost gutted hardcover book. It was called The Great Singers. I got some fabulous pictures out of it. Got it at the uh, used bookshop for I think a dollar fifty. But I got all these old timey um, pictures out of it in black and white. The old opera singers and stuff. <clears throat> but lately, I've been doing some stuff in here that's been kind of fun. Um, Lori Marie Jenkins had uh, a lot of uh, it w a lot of inspiration from her for these pages because it I I was doing some stuff like she does and you know that's how we learn new new ways to do things right is by looking at others who do things uh, in a really cool way. So what I've got in here so far because it is you can see it's an almost gutted book but there's enough pages there that I'll probably be able to with having to glue some together I'll probably be able to get seven or eight good double spread um, journal pages out of it so uh, the first one I did in this book was this one uh, I love the colors and uh, I just I love the colors so I put something together and I just really enjoyed doing it. It isn't anything spiffy or professional or it just is what it is. Beautiful. Uh, as a focal point she was perfect. Absolutely perfect. And the second one I did is this one and this one isn't finished. I'm going to add something to this. I just don't know what yet. But the focal point was out of a, I believe, a New Yorker magazine, uh, and it's perfect for this kind of, this kind of page. And I started with the um, music pages as a background for this. I thought it was a very appropriate. And the third one I've been working on, which definitely isn't finished yet, is this one. So it's just been a play around, mostly by color type uh, exercise you know so I was getting ready to do another set these two pages and so I decided to uh, film it in case you wanted to see it uh, and I couldn't decide whether I was going to talk through it or to put music behind it because I'm not real good at carrying on conversations when I'm thinking about doing something so I apologize if there's minutes of uh, empty silence that's I can't help that and where is my glue brush oh I specifically had a good wide glue brush going here where is it well, isn't that crazy? It has disappeared. And it was a really nice wide glue. Oh, there it is right in front of me. Wow, seriously? Okay. All right, so instead of tearing it up into little bits today, I'm going to um, glue it down as a whole, a whole thing. So we will get our page ready. Good old Mod Podge love this stuff <clears throat> some of my favorite uh, you know basic tools for what I what I do with my with my art my art and my crafts and I know a number of people that use you know we we use gallons of this stuff uh, sometimes it's a mix of glue water and this sometimes it's just mod podge sometimes it's um mixed with a uh, white acrylic or gesso so it's you know different things at different times depending on what you need but it's an awesome product okay so we'll go this way and we'll just add it as a a cover and double our page Yep, that's what we shall do. I 
I just want to get a nice thick um, backing up there because um, I tend lately with this book anyway to get really paintsy with the with the paint the background paint so it has to be fairly sturdy to withstand that uh, and so we shall let's do a tear off that looks better I like a tear off better so we will tear it off there perfect and we will tear it off there and okay I'm going to leave that edge I am going to where did, what did I do with my brush mm, getting it in stuff naturally eh? I'm going to make sure this edge is glued down because I uh, I don't want this other side bothered. It's uh, I just put netting on it on this one side, so it's not super. Um, I I don't want it sticking to the page on the other side. I love the the old. Whenever I get a chance, at any charity shops or secondhand stores, or anything like that, I grab um, the music books. Any music books that are older or you know anything like that I grab them because um, they are incredibly useful as background wallpaper or drop cloth whatever you might want to want to call it <clears throat> I'm not used to filming these that much um, not like some of the other artists on YouTube. Oh my God, there are some incredibly talented people on this platform. Incredibly talented. Okay, let's let that dry for a minute. And turn on the fan because it's a little warm in here. I, I tend to, um, I do a lot of collaging, but most of the time there's a color theme for me most of the time I tend to like to bunch the same color together so all right let's see how far off we are here just cutting along the edge of the uh, this page so that we can get a nice smooth line over there okay so that's one side uh, and we are going to go in strips on the other side <coughs> because I want some of the book page to show on this other side I like the combination of the book page and the music pieces um, so I tend to I tend to mix them and I warn you folks I haven't picked the uh, focal point for this set of pages yet I've got a couple of things um, in mind but I was hoping as I did this video um, I would come to a conclusion about them and be okay picking some things so Oops, wrong way around. All right, so this goes up here. And we have a little bit more glue up here. Perfect. I just down a little tiny bit. There we go. Perfect. And let's, uh, let's wipe that down a little bit. There we go. Sometimes the glossiness of the glossy Mod Podge, and I, I love getting the gloss, the glossy one. So, I, and I always tell myself to grab the, the uh, matte finish, and I never do because I like the gloss so much. So that's on me. That's on me. 
but these um, music papers are awesome to back up a journal page if you're doing some collage or <clears throat> any kind of any kind of abstract or multimedia you know anything like that um, the music sheets grab them whenever you can and it doesn't matter whether they're old looking or not you can always tea stain them coffee stain them you can smoke stain them uh, you can make pages look old definitely no question so don't worry about that just whenever you see the books at your secondhand places or whatever grab them you will not be um, sorry that you did you won't be sorry at all they're amazing <clears throat> absolutely amazing okay so let's make sure that the middle is well glued oops all right now let's let that dry for a minute while we look at the focal points I've picked out so not too too many interesting ones right now I wasn't able to gather the the um, these are the colors of paint I will be using to decorate the background pages I have peacock blue and green blue and silver and um, white and uh, tropical blue and then uh, forest green so that's the color scheme for these pages and um, so I need to find a focal point that is that would be appropriate for those colors and I don't know what I want I love this picture I absolutely love that picture and this one is cute it would certainly suit the colors I'm looking at absolutely this one is Wow I was thinking about using a half photo for this one and this one is the same thing thinking about using a half photo <clears throat> I've also got this which I thought was interesting I don't know I don't know and I've got some ephemera here uh, the junk ephemera so I'm gonna I'm gonna place some of that and see how that works and I've got some um, silk ties and things like that that we're gonna see how it goes but let's let's get the background done first because that's going to tell me which one of these I'm going to use as a focal point so um, I may just speed this part up um, while I'm doing the, the background colors because it's already at 13 minutes so uh, I'll stop talking now and I'll do the background and let's see what happens from here <laughs> 